Hey guys, it's Carl here, Cold Fate with Carl, and it is time for a garden update. It's been a while since we did the last one. Um, we've had a lot of uh, things going on, and I hadn't, I actually had a plan to release some videos uh, and actually do some garden um, modifications. However, the uh, there's big combination of weather, uh, work events, uh, and I ended up with the uh, Fauci flu again. You can't say the C word on YouTube or else you'll get uh, filtered. So uh, so I ended up, uh, here I am, uh, convalescing and getting ready to go back to work here toward the end of the week. More importantly, uh, for my hobby well-being, I'm going to be able to get out here in the yard and uh, really get caught up because... Uh, I had, uh, let the, I was starting to let the grass grow and stuff, you know, um, so I could get some more compost, and then it came down to the key weekend, uh, that I was going to be off, and I was like, all right, I'm going to get everything done this weekend, I'm going to bang out the garden, bang out the yard, boom, sick, so there I was, so, uh, it did not work out as planned, uh, because I, uh, was waiting on a key weekend to do everything, and then nature said, nope. We're going to uh, let you go to sleep for a while. So I went to, uh, uh, I sleep when I, when I get sick. So um, I'm feeling much better now though. And uh, I've had this in the past and uh, this one was very different than all the other ones. So whatever. Okay, I'm cool. It's just like getting the flu. So um, I did accomplish some things before since the last video you've seen that. Uh, I have to go back and review the video because I can't exactly remember what I had planned, but I believe I was tearing down the cucumber bed. But uh, I got the cucumber bed torn down, and uh, I was sourcing some materials for the bottom of the new beds. And that's important because uh, I don't want to uh, fill the, the beds totally with uh, dirt and stuff like that. So over here, I'm not sure if you can see if it's in the frame, there are three of the, well actually four of the metal raised beds. I got one birdies and uh, two sets of Vigo beds that I'm going to add in and then we're going to employ them for the fall garden. So uh, I'm going to take you on the tour here in a minute, but let's just talk about the summer's effect on gardening here in zone 9A. It has been hot, and so it got hot in May, which basically killed off most of the tomatoes. And everybody I talked to in this zone, in my area, suffered the same fate. And if it wasn't with just the tomato problem, uh, the squash, the leaf-footed squash bugs rolled in. And there are people still in other zones getting plagued by that. I'm not sure why this was such a good year for the leaf-footed stink bugs. Uh, but man, I can tell you, I, I tried everything. Um, to get rid of them, everything organic, you saw it here on the video, and then eventually, too late, I went with the uh, seven dust uh, just to try and save some tomatoes later into the season. But a combination of the of the uh, heat and the stink bugs, it just totally kind of nipped and caused me an early tomato season. Now, that's not saying we didn't get some tomatoes. We got a lot of tomatoes, and in fact, I had to resort to giving them away because I couldn't eat them fast enough. But I sure would have enjoyed having some more cherry tomatoes uh, later into the season, right? So, right now, um, I only have three beds going. Well, four beds, I take the back. So, I've got the okra going in the old tomato bed. I've got the pepper bed is booming. Like, I'm, I'm sitting here looking at the uh, banana peppers. And I'm going to have to harvest today because there's probably a dozen ready to go and then in the old uh, carrot bed I put the new uh, squash and zucchinis that have been under the net the whole time and so they have not suffered the fate of the squash vine borers but we're gonna take that off today and we're gonna spray them with some BT and then we're gonna add a little dirt to the bottom and hopefully make more roots which will help us if the squash bu or the vine borer bugs come back and so hopefully we'll start getting squash and zucchinis once again. And uh, that will be great. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Um, don't be shocked when you see the yard. It looks terrible. The uh, grass is at least ankle high. It's a uh, dachshund high. And uh, so the squirrel defense force gets to move around covertly. 
but uh, you know th that's good that's okay um, I had planned on having some grass in my mulch uh, two of the mulch piles have really cooked their way down and I think they're about ready to use which is good and then the third one is well underway with the uh, house scraps and you know vegetables that were taken out of the garden and uh, put in there and uh, man it's going pretty good so that's where I'm at I'm recovering uh, not fun but you know not the end of the world um, I may still sound a little bit nasally so uh, let's go take a tour of the garden and then we'll come back and for a few uh, a look ahead to see where we're going <clears throat> all right guys check out them squash plants now the squash plants have started to lift up the cover and therefore I do see a couple of bugs in there um, but uh, I've seen a lot of see a lot of stuff let's look over here yeah there you go I haven't been out here in a couple days so I'm not sure what quite is going on but none of the things are getting pollinated because of the net so the nets coming off today but there's a lot of plant in there I tell you and it should be two squash and two zucchinis so with that we'll get this taken care of and we'll look see like some little aphid bugs right there but everything's looking pretty good yeah well, that's okay good hopefully we've given them a healthy head start Oop, I got you a little crooked. All right, there we go. All right, check out the pepper bed. We have peppers everywhere, man. Like, uh, look at the banana peppers. That one poor banana pepper plant is all bent over, and those things are well past picking stage. So I have to get them. The Grand Marconi's looking good. So I'm going to come out here today. I'm cutting all these off. And then uh, we'll continue to harvest. Uh, I'm going to chop those up. I uh, use them for salads. The jalapenos are doing good. Um, the shishitos are doing good. We use those as some of our pickles, and they're hot, but they are good. So, uh, these little small bell peppers, you know, we just did not get a lot of bell peppers this year. Um, we have gotten a lot of marigolds, though, so there you go. Yep, the uh, pepper bed, I'd say this is my jewel this year. So, a lot of jalapenos, a lot of everything else. So, cool. The pepper bed. So here in this bed I planted some rosemary. Rosemary. There's a um, marigold and that viney plant is a watermelon plant. Now I don't know if it's gonna live or not or if it's gonna make watermelons or not. I have no idea. I've never grown one. But it looks like they're in need of a little uh, plant nutrition and that's what I'm gonna do. And then we'll be very careful when we mow around here is not to chop it up so as you can see I need to mow really bad all right here we go in this bed we've got the big broadleaf plants are okra plants so the okra have not started to produce yet but they're getting to the stage where they should actually I see one okra coming on and then the other plants are both basil and zinnias and uh, the zinnias um, haven't flowered maybe it's too hot but what they are doing is providing some good shade for the okras which okra is not supposed to mind the uh, heat but hopefully we'll get some good okra production to make some pickled okra so ooh, something's tearing me up good right there look at that that's got to be a, uh, a caterpillar so we'll get out here with some BT and we'll knock it out and I'm gonna flip you around and then over here we've got the um, eggplants and the eggplant plant has been putting out some pretty good eggplant production and I can't really complain about that there you go okay guys there you go that was the quick tour and when I mean quick heck it's, it's three beds and a little bitty plant in a pot <laughs> so um, so where are we going from here? Well, just like I had planned before, we're gonna do the lessons learned video. And so what I'm doing now is I'm going back through my videos to refresh myself of all the lessons learned from the spring season. And we are going to apply those to the fall season. So um, one of my lessons learned from the spring season is not to overpack the beds. 
So what I'm going to do for the fall is I am going to plant a pretty good amount of stuff with the understanding that I'll probably have to learn how to can it or uh, share it with neighbors and stuff. That's okay too. And uh, I'm, I'm again trying different varieties, some of which I may not necessarily eat, but that's okay. So I, I wanna learn and push the limits and see what I can grow here in these beds. Uh, one thing uh, that I did learn, like my neighbor across the way with his uh, cool beds over there, he grew uh, butternut squash. They look like uh, gourds. And he had a friend take his butternut squash and make them into like a lasagna casserole. And holy cow, was it good. Man, that was good. So thanks, Matt. Um, so I will be in my spring garden incorporating the butternut squash next year so I could do much the same thing. Uh, That's very cool. As far as what we're going to plant come spring, uh, I'm already prepping my potatoes. I'm going to use the uh, strawberry bed on the side of the house. We're going to, that was originally intended to be the tomato plot. We're going to spice that soil up with some compost and we're going to break it up and make it a little bit loose. And then we're going to plant potatoes over there from the seed potatoes we had from the, the failed bed this year. And then um, we're going to do you know, uh, lettuces and broccolis and, you know, cool season stuff. We're going to relaunch some tomatoes because I'm going to do uh, uh, determinate tomatoes. I did not get any tomato canning done this year. And uh, that's what I wanted. So I wanted to get some uh, stuff in the cans, in my jars, which is kind of like a parallel hobby to gardening because uh, you have to learn how to do some of all the produce. Once you start making produce, and you can't eat it all before it goes bad. So you got to learn either that you're going to have to give it away, not grow so much, or you're going to have to learn how to can and uh, preserve it, freeze dry, dehydrate, whatever the case may be. So I got a lot of work ahead of me, which starts probably in the morning with uh, getting rid of all this grass and getting... So I'm going to spend the day picking up. Um, I'll probably have to go take a nap. But I'll, uh, I'll spend the day picking up and getting things ready to mow tomorrow. And then we'll come back and I'll do an update. We'll get back on the Monday update schedule again. Uh, because really in the last month, with the heat and the rain, there's not been a lot to update you guys on at all. So uh, we haven't been missing out. I had intended to fill that space with the, the help videos, but it didn't work out that way that's okay we're gonna push and we're gonna get those out and we're gonna get the garden going for the spring this is the mid the middle of July and so I plan on putting the spring garden in or the fall garden in. I'm sorry I keep saying spring I plan on getting the fall garden in this time next month so right in the hottest part of August in Mississippi we're gonna be planning our fall garden with the projection of harvesting late October, November, which should be good prime time for those type of uh, plants. Now, let's just hope there's no subtropical events and uh, we'll all be good. But I think that's it. You know, uh, we're on the mend. We're getting back into it. I uh, got a lot of work to do, especially once you see the, well, you've seen the yard and see what a mess, a mess it is. But it got like that, I'm telling you, like two weeks. So um, we're going to knock it back into shape here in just a little bit and we'll get rolling again. So that's it. That's enough. I'm kind of rambling. So there you have it. You know, always have a hobby. It'll keep you going, you know, during the good times and the bad. And you have to make sure that you're having a good time with life. If you're not having a good time with life, you're living with too much stress, you're shortening your lifespan, and you got to find something that makes you happy. I'm on that journey. So I hope that you, like me, you know, will find something that makes you happy. Gardening makes me happy. Being outside with the pups makes me happy. And uh, everybody needs a hobby. And hobbies make me happy. So there you go. So it's Carl from Cultivate with Carl signing off. Getting ready to get my sick butt up and get to work. 
and do some gardening.